from the studios of the Garfield Show, it's the first annual Golden Lasagna Awards. And here's your host, Garfield Cat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> a little more, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Tonight, because excellence must be recognized, we're saluting superior work on the best show on television, this one. Each winner will receive one of these handsome trophies. It's hard to believe. What's hard to believe, Normal? That I don't have one of those. But I will. Without further ado, our first award is Best Performance by a Character in a Scene Involving Food. And the nominees are... Eddie Gourmand in the episode, Yankee Poodle Dandy. I'll just try one of these, whatever they are. Sir, I don't think you want to. Mmm, <laughs> this is exquisite. <laughs> Madam, what do you call this tasty treat? Dog food. Dog food? Dog food. <laughs> I ate dog food. <gasps> But you know, with a little parsley, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Our next nominee in this category is Vito Capaletti for his role in Mozzarella Madness. Oh, please, you must forgive me. You must. I, I was foolish, I admit it. If you could somehow find it in your heart to spare me, I would be grateful for all eternity. <laughs> well, just this once. But next time, don't forget the black olives. <laughs> and our final nominee in this category is... Why, it seems to be me, Garfield Cat, in Camping Out. We're going to be out here in the middle of nowhere for two weeks, Garfield. We're miles from any takeout restaurants, miles from any markets. We'll be making do with just the supplies we brought. Do you understand? <laughs> And you're okay with that. Well, I apologize, Garfield. I misjudged you. Okay, I'm going to unpack the car. Here you go, little pussy gatto. One hot, steaming dish of sausage lasagna, just as you requested. Mm. Mm. We had to do that to make up for forgetting the black olives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the winner is... Come on, come on. Well, how about that? It's me! <laughs> right. Normal, why are you disappointed? You weren't even nominated in this category. I was hoping for a massive write-in vote. Oh, thank you all for this award. I'm not sure which of you voted for me. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for him. Well, I, I, well, I sure didn't. didn't. But it doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I got the award and somebody else didn't. The next category, best performance by an actor in a role involving sleep. And the nominees are John Arbuckle and what time is it? <laughs> no, Garfield, I will not get up and make you raspberry waffles for breakfast. I'll settle for French toast. I just got to bed an hour ago. I'm going to sleep until that alarm clock goes off in seven hours. Oh. <laughs> At noon. Good night, Garfield. <laughs> Three, two, one. A good eight hours of sleep. I feel like a new man. I'm going to go make you raspberry waffles and French toast, Garfield. Last July, I convinced him it was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and the next nominee in this category is Odie the Puppy. Please hold your applause. Odie the Puppy for Fetching Fido. Odie, I'm gonna throw the stick so you can fetch it. <laughs> Here it goes, boy. Go get it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
And the last nominee in this category is... Where do you know? It's me again. It's for my stellar performance in The Snooze Reporter. Wait! I think he's finally waking up. Garfield, congratulations! You've been asleep for over 11 weeks. What do you have to say? Uh, just five more minutes. <sighs> and the winner is... <laughs> it's me again! <gasps> fixed! This contest is fixed! Normal, behave yourself. I'm sorry, this is how I behave. Our next category is Best Performance by a Mouth. Oh, that's great. Garfield can't win in this category. <laughs> Wanna bet? And our first nominee is Herb the Mouse in The Dangerous Mission. This is a dangerous mission, Irv. You don't have to do it. Somebody's got to. It might as well be me. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world with it. Thanks, Squeak. We were right, Squeak! It's Limburger! The next nominee is Squeak as the news mouse in the Snooze Reporter. Okay, we just saw this one. We don't need to show it again. And our final nominee for the best performance by a mouse is... <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. It seems to be me for my performance in Rat Cat. Here's a piece of cheese for you, and one for you, and one for you, and... Hi, I'm a mouse. What do you have for me? And the winner is... Oh, no, not again. Oh. No, I can't take any more of this. It's a travesty of justice. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. The cute cat coming through. And the next category is... Best performance by an overweight orange pussycat with striped whose name is in the title of the show. Gee, I can't imagine who's gonna win. We don't have time for clips. Oh, what's that again? We don't have time for clips. Oh, I'm informed that we don't have time for the clips, so we'll just do this the fast way. The nominees are me, me, and me. And the winner is... <gasps> hey, it's me. Thank you, I couldn't have done it without you. So, uh, Bruno, you and your friends weren't invited to the ceremony, huh? Yeah, we weren't nominated for anything and we're angry about it. Hey, who is this? Oh, it's <clears throat> just a friend. I happen to know this award ceremony is rigged. One cat wins every award. You should come down here and take care of him. Yeah, good idea. We'll be right there. Come on, guys. We're gonna go down to that award ceremony. When we get there, we'll take care of that cat who keeps winning all the awards. You see? You can learn valuable information watching the Garfield show. The commercial's over. Great. I'll go present the last award. Thank you. And now the award you've all been waiting for. The award for the most fabulously terrific super performer ever. And the nominees are Odie the Puppy. Thank you, Odie. And the next nominee is Nermal the Cat. That's about the response Nermal deserves. And the last nominee is Guess Who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the winner is... Hmm. And the winner is... Normal Cat! Did you see Normal Cat? You did see Normal Cat! Well, I'm Normal Cat! Oh! 
Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful ovation I'm sure I'd be receiving if anyone was here. I can't tell you how much this award means to me. I really need to thank all the people who supported me and helped me over the years. And I would if I knew any of their names. <laughs> but I have to admit, you like me. You really like me. Almost as much as I do. Hey, 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 hey. can't you see I'm accepting an award here? You're the cat who ripped these awards, so he always wins. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's not me. That's uh, No, 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 no. Can you see that? Can you? Oh, pick on someone your own size. Here, Ode, you can have this one. <laughs> hey, awards are great, aren't they? They make your relatives really happy, and you can sell the trophies on the internet for pretty good money. For that one, I'd say you'd be able to get enough for it to buy real lasagna. It's a lot better than gold. <laughs> another trophy. You know how many this makes? Neither do I. <laughs> uh, they should just give me a trophy for winning the most trophies. Hey, that's an idea. I could win a lot of trophies for winning the most trophies. Oh, oh, and then I could win a trophy for winning the most trophies for winning the most trophies. Or not. I can't stand cats. Especially ones who think they're cute. Yeah, and adorable. But... I am cute and adorable. Just take a look. <laughs> we take care of cats who are cute and adorable. <gasps> Did I say cute and adorable? <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant uh, uh, mangy and ugly. Yuck. Um, disgusting. <laughs> Congratulations. You just won this lovely trophy for best performance by a scary dog in a lead role. Bye. Um, guys, let's get that cat. Oh, help! 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 Double help! This is a bad part of town, Odie. We shouldn't be down here. Yeah, this area is full of folks you don't want to be around. See? There's normal. Help! Save me! Help! Normal's being chased by angry dogs. If they catch up with him, he's a goner! Oh well. Oh. Hmm. You think I should help Nermal? Hmm. Uh, all right. Come on, we can take a shortcut and catch up to him. And this was not a smart way for me to run. You, you know, guys, I'm not really as adorable as I might appear. Oh, this is it. I'm toast. Cute toast, but toast just the same. Hey, Nermal. Garfield! Wow. Look at what we have here. <laughs> yeah, another cat we don't like. Looks like we got us a two-for-one deal here. <laughs> you may think you're going... <laughs> 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 What's he doing? Beats me. Sorry, I've become infested with <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. <laughs> They're very contagious. Quick, do what I'm doing. Uh, I don't want to get no, uh, uh, what did he say they were? Uh, Mongolian monster fleas. Hey, let's get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we ought to be someplace else before they come back. Garfield, <laughs> yeah. huh? you saved my life. 
Yeah, don't remind me. A word of advice, Nermal? Stay away from places you might get hurt, like this neighborhood or my house. Let's go, Odie. Garfield saved my life. He really did. <coughs> Maybe I had him all wrong. I thought Garfield didn't like me. Why did I think that? Oh, maybe it was because all those times he said, Normal, I don't like you. Today on the show, we're going to discuss gratitude. <laughs> gratitude. I've heard of that. When someone does something nice for you, you should display gratitude. Thank them. Let them know that you owe them. And if someone did you a favor, do a favor for them. That's the decent thing to do in this world. Do a favor for Garfield? <laughs> well, he's right. I should do a favor for Garfield. I should do lots of favors for Garfield. He saved my life. Thanks, but I don't need you to do anything for me. <laughs> but there must be something I could do that would please you. Yeah? Go away. As you wish. Oh, I never thought getting rid of Nermal could be so easy. And it saves on postage. I'll celebrate with a couple of desserts. I'll tidy up for my friend Garfield. Let's see. Do I want vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or pistachio? Yes. All of the above. What's going on here? Normal. The vacuum cleaner's too loud. What's that? Get here, Garfield. The vacuum cleaner's too loud. <laughs> My vanilla, my chocolate, my strawberry, my pistachio! Nermal, turn that thing off! Hold on, Garfield, I'll turn this thing off! Nermal, you turned it up to super suction! I'll try to turn it off! Help, help! Garfield, Liz is coming over and we need to clean up the living room. Think we overdid it? Garfield, how could you do this? But I didn't do it. Normal did. He was trying to tidy up around here. And, and don't I... try to blame this disaster on cute little Normal. And don't come back ever! Oh, wait for your best friend! Or at least until dinner time. Huh. What am I gonna do with this room? Uh, maybe Odie can help me. Odie! Odie! Here, boy! Hmm? Oh. I don't care what you say, Garfield. I'm gonna help you out. After all, you did save my life. I keep asking you not to remind me, Nervo. Oh? Hey, hey, hey! <sighs> Look who's coming this way. <sighs> She's utterly awesome. Want to meet her, Garfield? Well, I'm pretty happy with Arlene. Nothing's wrong with meeting people. She's real good looking. Not as good looking as me, but... Excuse me, lovely <laughs> lady cat. Do you know my friend uh, Garfield? Yeah. This is Garfield? Ooh, I've heard of Garfield. Yeah, he's a hero. He saved my life. He keeps reminding me. Plus, he's my best friend. Hmm. Well, any friend huh? of yours is a friend of mine. Garfield, would you like to share a lasagna some evening? Oh, well, maybe just a little one, the size of a small car. Huh? Huh? Ah! Huh? Oh. Arlene, it's not what you think. She found my weakness. She mentioned lasagna. Arlene! Arlene! Ah, let her go. So, maybe you lost your lady friend. Look at the bright side. You'll oh. always have me around. <laughs> Odie, I think I figured out how to stop Nermal from being my friend. I saved his life, so I just have to get him to save my life. Then we'll be even. Brilliant, huh? <laughs> well, I don't care if you don't think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. So here's what I need you to do. Now, I'll take my dear friend Garfield a big dish of raisins. Oh, and then maybe I'll get him a pizza with lots and lots of anchovies on it. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Odie, what's wrong? Nothing's happened to my best friend forever Garfield, has it? 
<gasps> what do you mean, not yet? <laughs> Garfield's going for a walk in that bad neighborhood where I ran into those tough bully dogs? <laughs> He'll get flattened. I have to go help him. <laughs> Don't worry, my friend. I'll protect you. <laughs> He saved my life. Now I'll save his. But the thing to remember in life is to put yourself first. Because <gasps> if you don't, nobody else will. What? Yes, it's important to take care of others, but it's also important to take care of yourself. You matter too, you know. He's right. I'm normal cat. Why am I worrying about someone else? Oh, look at the poor cat. Defenseless kitty, walking all by himself. I hope nobody bothers him. Hey, I'm not worried. Nermal will show up and save me, and we'll be even. And even if he can't save me, I'm still not worried. I have my Mongolian monster flea routine to protect me. Ahem. <clears throat> Cat walking alone, defenseless, with a bad attitude. Boy, when you want trouble, you can't find it. Oh, you dogs don't scare me. My dear friend Nermal will show up here any second now to protect me. Uh, any second now. Garfield! Oh, he's here. He's here to save me. Garfield! <laughs> I just want to tell you, I have to take care of myself. So, you're on your own. Bye! <laughs> oh, I just remembered. <laughs> Mongolian monster fleas. Better run if you don't want to catch them. Hey, we're not worried. Not one bit. We all went and got flea collars. Liz says you ought to be up and on your paws in a couple of weeks. I can't imagine why you went into that bad neighborhood all by yourself, Garfield. You couldn't have imagined someone was going to come to your rescue, could you? I'm going to go get your medicine. Oh, and Liz says no lasagna or other fattening foods for a couple of months. Garfield, I have the feeling it was in some small, teensy way my fault, and I'm going to make it up to you. So? So, I've decided to stay here and wait on you and be your best friend. <laughs> You're supposed to be in bed, Garfield. Garfield? Are ah! you? Oh. Ah! Aren't you injured? Not as much as you're going to be. No, Garfield, no. You, you saved my life. No, I, I got a Mongolian monster, please. No. Gloria doesn't understand how much work it is to run a farm. Neither do I. What's so hard? Your farmhands plow the fields. All you have to do is feed the animals. Do you know what it's like to feed all those hungry mouths? Doc Boy, I feed Garfield and Odie. <clears throat> well, you got a point there. And don't call me Doc Boy. Say, where is Garfield? <laughs> Come on, come on. Drive me back to civilization. Garfield doesn't like it here on the farm. Anyway, I still say feeding animals is easy. And I still say you don't know what you're talking about. And I still say, let's go home! He works much harder than you think, John. And I still think you need to take a vacation. Well, one of these days. I'd better get Garfield home before... Here's your first of Garfield! Yoo-hoo! Your emergency order! Pizza! All right, all right. We'll go home. Wait. Huh? I have some fighter pilots airlifting pastrami sandwiches. Come back Bye. soon. See you later. So long now. Now about that vacation. Oh. 
But who take care of the cow and the horse and the chickens and You can find someone. You're right. I can and I know who. Visiting my brother yesterday was fun. No cable TV. <laughs> that farm of his is so cool. Roosters are crow at 5 a.m. And the air smells so great. If you like the smell of cow. Huh? Oh, I wonder who this is. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Doc Boy, Gloria. Hello, John. And don't call him Doc Boy. Doc Boy and Gloria. See, even they couldn't stand it out on that farm. So I finally persuaded him to take a vacation. And I don't even know where we're going or when we'll be back. Hey, why don't we visit that relative of yours you told me about? Huh. Which one? Her name was Aunt something? Aunt <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Ivy! <laughs> yeah, I mentioned her. Don't worry, folks. She's not in this episode. It's safe to watch. So, who's going to take care of all your animals while you're away? Someone who said he thought it would be easy. Me? Oh, no. I don't have time to go up to your farmyard. Who said anything about taking care of them in my farmyard? <laughs> I don't like the nearness of that move. Oh. Oh, no. Couldn't have put it any better myself. Doc Boy? Doc Boy? Doc Boy! We left plenty of food and audio instructions on how to feed them. We'll see you when we get back from our vacation. Whenever that is. <laughs> And don't call me Doc Boy. In a situation like this, there's only one thing to do. You with me, Odie? We'll be at a hotel until the animals are gone. Oh, no. You're not running out on this. You're going to stay and help me take care of those animals until Dog Boy and Gloria get back. Whenever that is. We'll just keep the animals in the backyard. It won't be so bad. Unless, of course, it starts to rain. <sighs> you had to say that, didn't you? Come on, let's get them inside. <laughs> part is, this is the cleanest this house has been in months. I don't think they left us nearly enough food. I'm going to run out and get some more before the store closes. Here, my brother left this CD called How to Feed Farm Animals. Play it and do as it says while I'm gone. If you don't feed them, I don't feed you. Good. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Let's see what this thing says. Hello. Welcome to How to Feed Farm Animals. Lesson one, chickens. Uh, Spread chicken feed evenly <laughs> on ground. All right, I'll try that. Supper time. Get your delicious chicken feed right here. Come on, what are you waiting for? Would you eat that? Probably. There's not a lot I won't eat. <laughs> try it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Woo. We got to get you something better than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why do you have to do that? Because I just love to go. It's in my soul. It's in my heart. Mm. Yeah, but it's also in my ears. I can't help myself. I have to go. <laughs> Well, then I'll help you. Step right in here. Mm. Okay, let's see what's next. Feeding goats. Many people think goats eat tin can. This is not true. They merely like to lick the glue that is often used to put a label on a tin can. Oh, that's so good to know, Mr. Voice. Here, I know you don't really eat tin cans, but... What was in that when it was full? 
spaghetti, I think. Oh, great. You get the spaghetti, I get the empty can. Well, now, wait a minute. Hey, you dropped something on the ground behind you. Huh? I don't see anything. <laughs> We've got to get you some better food, too. Ouch! Feeding horses. Horses eat hay. Odie, bring the hay in here. <laughs> hey, it's your hay. I'm not eating that. You know what hay tastes like. It's dry. It's tasteless. It's, it's... Like John's meatloaf? Well, probably not that bad. Wait here. <laughs> Here, there's no food on earth that can't be made edible with enough ketchup. <laughs> bon appetit. Whoa. <laughs> My mistake. This isn't ketchup. It's ultra powerful hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but I'll make it up to you. I'm gonna give you guys some real food. Let's see, yesterday's macaroni, leftover Chinese food. So much better than tin cans. Yeah, this is so Wait, much better than what Dog Boy features on the farm. We're never gonna leave this house. <laughs> oh no, we can't keep them here, Odie. It's time to take drastic steps. More drastic than that. More drastic than that. Even more drastic than that. <laughs> If there are any small children watching, they should look away from the screen. This could be really scary. I know I said Ann Ivy wasn't in this episode. I lied. John! John! I got your email inviting me to stay with you until Christmas after next. This is a this place looks like a barnyard. Even worse, it smells like a barnyard. Look at the feathers on that chicken. Look at the giblets on that turkey. Get that cow out of here. I'm lactose intolerant. Get that sheep out of here. I don't like wool. Tell that rooster if he doesn't shut up, he won't like what I'll cock a doodle do to him. But it's supposed to be our vacation. And it will be. But I'm worried about how my brother will take care of the animals. I just want to check and make sure they're okay. Oh, my animals! They're all running away! Oh. Come back! Come back! I'll take you all back to the farm! <laughs> problem solved. Oh, you're wondering about the bigger problem. The Aunt Ivy problem. I'm not staying in this Don't house worry. another minute. It smells like a barnyard and all the fur and feathers are... <laughs> Picking up my allergies. I'm gonna stay in the most expensive hotel in town and charge it to John. Other problem solved. Now I have just one more thing to do. Remember the CD? Mm -hmm. I have to go online and find the guy who makes them. I have an idea. I don't know how you did it, Garfield. Doc Boy called and said he and all his animals are home safe on their farm and he'll find a sitter for them before he takes a vacation. Good. Okay, here. Listen to this. The CD player? Something on here you want me to listen to? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to How to Feed Garfield Cat. Lesson mm -hmm. one, breakfast. <gasps> Garfield enjoys a modest breakfast, including waffles with syrup, fresh berries, hot coffee with sugar, cream, and more sugar, buttermilk pancakes, sausage patty, sausage links, eggs fried, eggs scrambled, eggs poached on top of other eggs, lasagna, cold cereal, hot cereal, butter toast, bacon, more bacon, lots more bacon. You gotta admit. <laughs>
just the perfect afternoon, Odie. John's away, the weather's fine, I have a lemonade and a medium-sized sandwich, and I can just lie here and do something I really enjoy. Watch someone else exercise. One, two, one, two, feet apart! One, two, faster men! One, two, one, Couldn't two. take a break, man, like until next August? Stop goofing off, Squeak! Now drop and give me 20! <laughs> You could go a little easier on them, Biff. I've got to get them in shape so they can protect themselves, Emily. What if a cat came into the yard? Well, there is a cat in the yard. I don't mean Garfield. Garfield's our friend. <laughs> oh, I don't mean Garfield either. I mean him. <laughs> This is fun to watch, too. Okay, Biff, it's showtime. Oh, what have we here? Hey, Mouse, aren't you afraid of me? Nice going, Biff. We probably won't see Bruno again until this episode's in reruns in a few months. And now to celebrate your impressive feat, I think I'll go eat something. Oh, Biff, you're the greatest. Yeah, the greatest. I don't know what we'd do without you around. Probably have to count on Garfield to protect us. That overweight, huh? out-of-shape cat? Oh. Me? Exercise? I think you need to give your brain a workout. You need to get fit, Cat, huh? and I'm gonna see that you do. <laughs> There's ice cream in that refrigerator. Uh, you saw what I did to that other cat. Huh? <laughs> Who needs ice cream? It's only delicious and wonderful. I'll have 20 cookies instead. <laughs> uh, oh. No cookies either. You're gonna exercise. Come on! All right, all right. I'll exercise. <laughs> 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 I've exercised. I'll do another one, uh, let's say next summer. Maybe autumn, or maybe even winter. Garfield, follow me! <laughs> Running is the best way to lose fat. Keep your pace and your heartbeat up, and you'll keep your weight down. <laughs> After we run a few miles, we'll do about an hour of push ups. Then there's weight training and gymnastics and aerobics. And I know you're not happy about not eating, so we'll reward you with a snack. Half a radish. You're too generous. And then more aerobics and chin-ups, and then... Oh! Oh! Uh. Uh. Huh? Twice as hard! Now you have to work out! Fat cat! I don't know how much of this good health I can survive. Squeak! Doesn't that friend of yours know the joys of fattening food? Well, only when he's miserable. Miserable? Like I am now? Yeah, when he gets depressed, he eats like you do. More even. I saw it once when he broke up with his girlfriend, Emily. Hmm. You can go a little easier on Garfield. He's flabby. He's unfit. He calls for drastic measures. Biff, you're so wonderful most of the time. Give him a little rest and let him have some of his lasagna. They're having a fight. Let's see if I can make it worse. No, Garfield will exercise. I'm helping, not hurting him. <coughs> I'm ready for more exercise, Biff. <coughs> Can I do my sit-ups in the 
hospital bed. Oh. oh, Biff, this is terrible. I never want to see you again. But Emily! I'm going to go find some other house to live under. See, she left you. How does that make you feel, Bifford? Hungry. <laughs> I think I'll spend the evening staring mindlessly at the TV and eating unhealthy food. <sighs> Mm. Hey, Bifford, want to get out of my chair and do a few laps around the block? Mm, no. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Emily. So I got out of having to exercise, but now I have an even bigger problem. Biff is in my chair. <laughs> And he's eating every scrap of food in the house. That is my job. Ugh, I'm just waiting for something else to go wrong. <laughs> Sounds like that's it. Oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no, Bruno, he's back! Oh, and I must have you. <laughs> and you look delicious. <laughs> Bruno. You put those mice down and get out of this yard right now. Who's gonna make me? Someone other than me. <laughs> it's no use, dog. You won't stop me. Biff, you're needed. Bruno's back and he's grabbing up all the mice. Come on. Uh, well, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Hurry! I am hurrying! <laughs> I've had about enough of this! <laughs> I think I'll barbecue tonight. <laughs> oh, my friend! Uh, the only one uh, who can save them is Biff! Biff's useless! You know how he's acting? No, how is he acting? A lot like me. The only way to get him back is to reunite him with his lady friend. Emily? She moved to under some other house somewhere. Odie, put that damp nose of yours to work. Find Emily the mouse. Think you found her, boy? <laughs> oh, oh, it's you, Garfield. I thought it was that big, nasty cat. That big, nasty cat's about to barbecue all your friends. This is awful. Can't Biff do something? Biff's not Biff since you left. He really misses you. Don't you miss him? Well, sort of. Sort of means you do. Come on, there's not much time. <sighs> You gotta snap out of it, Biff. Our pals are in terrible danger. <sighs> what can I do? I'm fat and out of shape. I, I'm just no good. I am... Biff! Uh, Emily! <laughs> hey, the big reunion scene can wait. We have mice to save. Biff, you look so, so... Like me. But now that I got you back, I can go get me back. Wait here. Huh? Biff, I can't believe you got your own physique back so quick. Yeah, it only took one 15 second montage sequence. Where is this place Bruno hangs out? Down here, by the railroad tracks. <laughs> Charcoal's almost ready. <laughs> Garfield, 
Do something. All right. I have one of my typically brilliant plans. Odie, you run to the other side and distract Bruno. Squeak, you stay here and bang on a drum. I'll disguise myself as a potato farmer and... I have a better idea! I'm sorry I worked you so hard. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna take your advice, Biff. I'm gonna start a new exercise program. Hey, Squeak, will you help me with it? Uh, hey, uh, sure. Uh, whatever it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You call eating lasagna exercise? Sure. I'm using a very heavy fork. Squeak. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Life is good. You're watching your favorite show, and I'm about to watch mine. Odie chasing squirrels. It's showtime! That squirrel has no idea where that nose has been. Thing in the whole world. Garfield! Huh? Your lasagna's ready. After that, we'll be right back with more of the Odie and the Squirrel Show right after this brief timeout for pasta. <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. Odie never wanders away for this long. How can you just sit there and eat your dinner? I'm not eating my dinner. I'm eating his dinner. I'm going to drive huh? around the neighborhood. Maybe I'll spot him. John? John? 
Gee, where did he go? He must be missing. Looks like I'll have to eat his dinner, too. Mm. It's been almost 24 hours since he disappeared. I just printed these up. Huh? I'm going to post them all over town. Someone's got to have seen him. All right, it's time for the cat to solve this. I'll find Odie and I'll start by looking... Hmm, I don't even know where to start. I think I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> What's in it for us? Yeah, give us one good reason why we should be looking for a dog. Odie is my best friend. I well, don't think that's a terrific reason. In fact, it's a bad one. Okay, okay. Here's another very good reason. You're supporting characters on this show. Help me, or you'll never be on it again. Oh, oh that's, that's a good, a good reason. reason. I, like I like that, that reason. Like that. I'm in. That one, yeah. Good. You all fan out and look for Odie while I coordinate the operation. I can't get that one. Good. Now begin coordinating the operation. <laughs> Of course you can't coordinate an operation on an empty stomach. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 everywhere. Nobody's seen him. Nobody. How do you lose a tongue that long? All right. It's time for Sherlock Garfield to take over. Sherlock huh? Garfield? <laughs> he thinks he's a detective. I am. <laughs> Come with me. Time is of the essence. Odie may be in great danger. <laughs> it's great to have you back, Spot. The minute I heard you bark, I knew it was you. I said, at last, my faithful spot has come back to me. I don't see so well these days, but I know your bark anywhere, spot. It's been so lonely living here all by myself since you went away. I've missed you so much. You're not gonna run away again on me, are you? Uh-uh. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. John is still out putting up posters so I can use his computer. Hey, you live in a real nice house, Garfield. The city has closed circuit video cameras all over the streets to catch drivers running red lights. I've hacked into the city's computer and reconstructed Odie's journey. How did you learn to do all that? Necessity. One night, a pizza delivery from Vito's was running late and I had to track it. The squirrel jumped onto the truck, and Odie, being Odie, went after him. He chased the truck across town until it reached the park. And that's where we lose his trail, in the park. And that is where we're going. Whatever you say, Garf. Come on, Lucky. Oh, sure, Garfield. I was just wondering why Odie or anyone would want to run away from a nice home like this. You never had a home? Never. I'm just one of them feral cats living in the street and under buildings my whole life. Oh, you'll get taken someday, Lucky. I'm afraid Lucky isn't so lucky. Huh? Hey, we gotta go find your pal Odie. Let's roll. Wait, wait for me. Gentlemen, I have come to the expert's scientific opinion that this is absolutely nothing. Harry, <laughs> slobber detector solution. Traces of doggy drool. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> the doggy drill seemed to lead to that fence. Uh, uh, observe. <laughs> A red squirrel here. A possible witness. You're gonna interrogate a sheep? Of course. He may have seen Odie. But sheep are dumb. They only go bah. Bah <laughs> yourself, fella. You're looking for that annoying puppy? Yes, we are. Can you tell us where he went, old woolly one? He went into that forest. Thanks. You don't mention it. Oh. 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 No! This is a very large forest. I used to live under some of these trees. There's an old man who lives in a cabin down that way. Odie likes to be around people. Let's go see if he went there. Spot! Hey, Spot! Where are you? I found one of the old doggy toys. Here, you can play with it. And... Spot! Spot! I slipped on that little rug. I, I don't think I'm hurt, but I can't get up. Give me a hand, please. Or or a paw or something. This is a waste of time. You'll never find him. <laughs> never find him, huh? That's Odie. <laughs> The box! They're coming from that cabin! <laughs> Odie! <laughs> oh, uh, I'm glad to see you too, boy. Hey, what were you doing here? Who's that man? <laughs> What's he saying? I don't know. I don't speak dog. This old fellow thinks Odie's his long-lost dog's spot. Come on, let's help him get up. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Spot. You're a very good, loyal dog, Spot. I hope you never leave me again. Woody well, doesn't know what to do. He wants to go home, but this man sure seems to need his loyal dog, Spot. Yeah, well, that's not my problem. Mine neither. Of course I have an idea. Lucky, you said you always wanted a home. Yeah, more than anything. Can you bark? Like a dog? <laughs> Congratulations. I hereby appoint you the new spot. Welcome home. <sighs> we'll be back at our house in no time. Like I was saying, it's so great to have you back with me, Spot. <coughs> Good dog. Good dog. You missed four meals, but don't worry. I ate them for you. You should be home in time for dinner. <coughs> oh, look. My favorite show is on again. Plus... It looks like I'm gonna get an extra dinner. Warned you, Odie. Garfield's in a bad mood today. Well, worse than usual. Oh, for one thing, it's Monday. As you know, there's nothing that scares Garfield more than a Monday. <sighs> Please don't. 
don't let today be Monday. Please don't let today be Monday. Please, please, please. Please don't let today be Monday. And then what followed was bad even by Monday standards. He had something planned. Some new way to torment the mailman. He'd been looking forward to it all morning. But then, when the mailman arrived, Herman the mailman had come up with a method of Garfield-proof mail delivery. You won't get me this time, cat. The mail got delivered and there was nothing he could do. Then, things got worse. He went to Vito's for pizza. No, no more pizzas for you. Not until I am paid for the last 7,432 you have eaten here! And when he got back, he got maybe the worst news of all. Normal had come for a visit. A long visit. And now, here comes the worst part. I have to tell him he's gaining weight, and I'm putting him on a diet. I know. If you think those other things upset him, wait till you see his reaction to this news. But it has to be done, so I know you won't like it, but I'm putting you on a strict diet, and that's final. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> what he's doing. He brought some junk from the city dump or somewhere and he's been in the garage for an hour building something. He just... Oh, wait. Oh. He's built some sort of invention or something. I have no idea what it does. And I'm worried. Garfield has some sort of machine there. I wonder what it does. Well, whatever it is, it can't be good for me. Oh, Pussycato. What is that machine he has there? What could he possibly do? I have a very bad feeling about this. Uh-oh. What is that thing? And why am I not gonna like what it does? Hmm. That machine of his, it's gotta have something to do with my new tank. Some way of tormenting me in spite of it. I can only imagine what he's gonna do next time I show up in that tank. <laughs> If it can do that, it's the most fiendish contraption he's ever devised! I have to stop him before he uses it on me! Vito, where's that pizza we ordered? Uh, coming right up, senor! Whew. What could that machine possibly do? I have learned to never underestimate that pussy gatto. Maybe, maybe it will make uh, the pizza, and uh, not just any pizza, but pizza up to the Garfield standards. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. What kind of pizza would you like to make today? Thin crust or thick? What do I want to do today? Let's see. You have selected thin crust. 
Would you like small, medium, or large? <laughs> you have selected extra, extra, super jumbo large. Would you like extra cheese? Yes. Extra sauce? Yes. Pepperoni? Yes. Sausage? Yes. Anchovies? No. Meatballs? Yes. A side of pasta? Yes. A side of cheeseburgers? Yes. Some Chinese food? Yes. Thank you. Your pizza will be ready <laughs> in 15 seconds. <laughs> no. That takes too long. Mm. Oh man, I gotta speed this thing up. <laughs> Cooking pizza at 1,000 degrees. Your pizza is done. Um, the greatest scientific breakthrough of this or any other century. <laughs> I, I am unnecessary. And I'm coming to you live from the hottest new pizzeria in town. It's called Garfield's. People have been coming from around the world for Garfield's pizza. Some, it is said, have been waiting in line since early August. <laughs> and two words, delicious. This is the best pizza ever made anywhere. <laughs> Oh, oh, please, you come in. You have a slice. <laughs> I'm ruined. I haven't sold the pizza since Garfield went into business. Now I am out of a business. Out of my way. I've got to get to Garfield's. No, no, stop. Hold on to the pizza. Please, no. It was just my imagination. But it could happen. I must make certain it does not happen! Oh, I'm really worried, Odie. You've got to tell me what Garfield's machine does. Oh. But then, <laughs> what can he do to me? Mail me to Abu Dhabi? He's already done that to me 73 times. Oh, right, 74. But what if he doesn't send me to Abu Dhabi? What if he sends me to... someplace worse than that? Don't do this, Garfield! Whatever it is you're gonna do, don't do it! Will you please calm down? You'll like Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri? You're gonna put me in a rocket? Well, how else am I gonna get you there? Oh, no! No, 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 no! I'm the cutest kitten in this world, and I want to stay in this world. <laughs> ah! Well, I didn't want to have to do this the hard way, but he's forced me. Here we go. <laughs> Where you're walking. <laughs> you never find me in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, you uh, dare uh, shoot uh, me in outer space, Garfield? Oh, I wouldn't, would I? Well, watch this. <laughs> Ten, ah. nine, eight, seven. <sighs> I can't wait that long. Blaster! I can't explain now, Odie. I have to stop Garfield from sending me in outer space. I'm leaving, Garfield. I'm leaving. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm not staying for months. I'm gonna go home. Bye-bye. Uh, wow, he left fast. I got rid of the tank, Garfield. Huh? You don't have to use this machine on me. You don't even have to fling me into the mud hole. Look, I'll do it for you. <laughs> See? <laughs> How I love to wind up in a good mud hole. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Do. Whoa. Garfield! <laughs> Vito is so sorry he kicked you out of his restaurant this morning. Here, have pizzas. Lots and lots of pizzas. <laughs> Just uh, don't start making them yourself, okay, uh. please? <laughs> Garfield! I was worried about what your machine here does. Uh, I mean, I was worried about your health, and I was thinking maybe you don't need to diet. <laughs> and I see you've already come to the same conclusion. 
Okay, pay no attention to what I said. I never do. Huh? What's that, boy? You want to know what my machine really does? This machine does the same thing I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Absolutely nothing. Hmm, you know, I could even get to like Mondays. Some of us have to eat out of these things. Oh, sorry, Harry. <laughs> Garfield threw me in there because he's so jealous of me. <sighs> not that I blame him. Garfield's not jealous of you. Look at this. Somebody threw away a perfectly good six-week-old tuna sandwich. <laughs> How could he not be jealous? I'm cute. I'm beloved. I have everything. <laughs> you don't have your own show. What? Garfield has his own show. We're on it right now, see? People are watching us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hiya, folks. Everyone watches it. You can hear it coming out of almost every house. The little girl who lives here watches it every time it's on. Hey, I told you to watch educational programs. The Garfield show is educational, Mom. I'm learning how to eat lasagna and sleep all day. Right, all right. We're speaking with the noted inventor and mad scientist, Professor Thaddeus Bonkers. Professor Bonkers, is it true you have invented a time machine? Oh, that is correct. How long did it take you? The rest of my life. I actually finished it 47 years from now. But then when I was done, I jumped into my time machine and came back here to today in it. Oh. Ah. So in your time machine, someone can actually travel into the past. Indeed. But they have to be very careful. Anything you do when you are back in time could affect the future. Wow. What would you do if you had a time machine, Harry? I think I'd go back in time about two minutes and not eat this sandwich. Well, I know what I'd do. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do. <laughs> a slight change of history, and this show will be mine. <laughs> So, you need to be very careful about altering the past. This is boring. I'm gonna watch the Garfield show. Garfield? You can't just lay around the house all day sleeping. John's right. I'll lay around the backyard all day sleeping. <laughs> you are to guard my time machine with your life. It is priceless. It took me the rest of my life to build it. Yeah, you can count on me, Professor. this thing. Traveling through time for dummies. <laughs> Just what I need. To start, press red button. Well, doy. How to stop, how to stop, how to stop. Oh, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Duh, duh. Selecting a date or event to visit. Awesome. <laughs> I'm setting it for the day John first found Garfield at the pet store. <laughs> wow, 
I made it. That's the store. So how do you get someone to adapt you? Just look adorable, and then someone will want to take you home. Well, that doesn't sound so hard. It helps if the human isn't too bright. Hey! Oh, he should be a cinch. Uh, but don't look too eager. It makes them think no one else wants you. Good idea. I'll play hard to get. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Uh, yes. I've been thinking I might like to adopt a cat. Take me, oh, take me home with you. Please, please, please. I'll be your loyal cat. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Pick me. Wow. Uh, maybe I'll take this one. That's how John adopted Garfield. On the way home, I'll stop off at the market and buy some cat food. Actually, we've noticed that he rather likes lasagna. Lasagna? Meow, meow. Okay, lasagna. <laughs> You are kind of cute. You're not so bad yourself, Bella. I think we're going to be good. <gasps> meow. 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 Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah! What about me? Taking me home and feeding me lasagna and making me your cat and feeding me. And lasagna. you're going to love it at my place. I'll fix you up a bed and feed you whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I feel like the entire universe just shifted a little. Oh well, time for my 315 pre dinner appetizer booster snack. Gee, John's not keeping the kitchen as well stocked as he usually does. It's every pet for himself at dinner, Odie. There's barely enough food in the house for me. Huh? What? An intruder? Where? You mean me? How could I be an intruder? What do you mean you never saw me before in your life? I'm Garfield. I live in this house, remember? See my picture right over here on... <gasps> Normal! What is Normal doing in my picture frame? <laughs> Squeak, tell Odie who I am. Strange cat in the house! Alarm! Alarm! Squeak, it's me, Garfield. You're a cat! A cat eat mice! Oh, except for my friend Normal! Normal? <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Odie? Huh? Hey, how'd that cat get in here? That cat? John, oh, don't you remember me? The cat who sleeps all day, who eats lasagna, who's been with you since... When did Jim start the newspaper strip? 1978. Since 1978? I don't know who you are, but there's only room for one cat in this house. My beloved pet, Normal. <gasps> Normal? Your pet? What happened? Why do I no longer exist? Odie oh, doesn't know me. Squeak doesn't know me. Even John doesn't know me. This couldn't be any worse. Lorraine, what? are you watching the Normal Show again? The Normal Show? It's just starting, Mom. <laughs> no, no. That's my show! That's my opening and my theme song! Those people with the funny names in the credits, they work for me! Me! Lorraine, I told you to watch something educational! The Nermo Show is educational, Mom! I'm learning how to be the most oh. adorable creature on the planet! <laughs> my show! He <laughs> my God, my show! My life, my show! I'm surprised I still have my stripes. Hi, Garfield. Oh, hi, Normal. Normal! Normal, what have you done? Done? About what? Why do you suddenly have my life and my show? Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> no big deal. I just borrowed a time machine, went back in time, and got John to adopt me instead of you. <laughs> See you later, Garfield. <gasps> oh. So that's how he did it. Hmm. Time machine. 
How am I going to undo this? How am I going to get my life back? Professor Bonkers, is it true you've invented a time machine? Yes, uh, two of them, in fact. Someone stole the first one, they left it in a no-parking zone in the past, and it was towed. The police have no idea what it is, so I had to build another one. I have to get that time machine and undo what Nermal did. And you're going to love it at my place. I'll fix you up a bed and feed you. No, stop! You're making a terrible mistake. You don't want that cat. He's obnoxious. He's annoying. He's, he's, he's normal. What is it, cat? Are you telling me I shouldn't adopt this one? Yes, yes. Take the little cute one who eats lasagna. He's the one you really want. Don't do this. Please. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty good life Garfield has. Or rather, had. <laughs> I'm starting to really enjoy it. <laughs> Nermo, what are you doing here? I live here. Not anymore. I went back in time and convinced John not to adopt you. What? That's right, Garfield. How dare you do to me what I did to you? Come with me. Let's see how things are now in the Arbuckle household. You're such a wonderful pet, Odie. I'm so glad I decided never to get a cat. Never, never to, to get, get a, a cat. cat? Shall we watch our favorite TV show? Hey. <laughs> Okay, here it comes. The Odie Show! Don't worry, folks. We'll go back and get this straightened out before the next episode of The Garfield Show. Or The Normal Show. Or whatever the show is. You know, I've always kind of liked ballet dancing, but do they have to do it when I'm trying to sleep? Very good. Now, time for today's lesson, ladies. Welcome to ballet dancing for mice and other small rodents. Today, oh. we shall cover pirouettes, <laughs> place the feet slightly apart, raise the arms, and leave it slowly. I live to dance. Yeah? Well, some of us live to eat, and eat to live. Where's Vito with my 11.30 a.m. pizza delivery? Did you ever have the feeling that you were being watched? Good. I have a clear view into the house where it looks like... <gasps> Ballet dancing mice? 11.30 a.m. I'm monitoring the Arbuckle home looking for a proper test subject for my new invention. Ah! The pizza delivery man! The perfect test subject! First, I need to seize control of his mind. <laughs> I must hurry. Mr. Arbuckle's cat does not like it when his 11.30 a.m. pizzas arrive ten seconds late. Working. I've seized control of his mind. You hate delivering pizzas. You will no longer deliver pizzas. I will no longer deliver pizzas. Hey, it's 11.30 and 10 seconds. Where are my pizzas? No, no pizzas for you. No pizzas for anyone. <gasps> Words I hoped I'd never hear. I hate delivering pizzas. I hate making pizzas and delivering pizzas and everything about the pizzas. I will never make another pizza as long as I live. I will never make another pizza as no. long as I live. Ah, Vito, say it isn't so. Throw them on the ground. Stomp on them. Here, 
Here is what I think of pizzas. Down with pizzas. No, no, no. <laughs> at last, at last, I'm getting revenge on that cat for ruining my plans for world domination. Testing a mind control device, unqualified success. I press the blue button, capture someone's mind, then speak into the microphone to tell them what to do. Nathan? Uh, Nathan? Oh, no. Not now. Mom! I'm working on a plan to conquer and enslave mankind! That can wait, Nathan. First, you have to take out the garbage and do your chores. But, Mom! Don't you butt mom me, young man. Garbage first, enslaving mankind second. Oh, these kids today. Where are their priorities? Take the garbage out yourself, Mom. I will take the garbage out myself, Mom. <laughs> the effects will only last a few days before they wear off. All right, now, let's see if my invention will work on that dog that lives with the cat. Hmm. My invention has no effect on the dog named Odie. I'll try someone else. Ah, he'll do fine. Hmm. It's a little after 11.30. I'd better start making lasagnas for today. You don't like cats. You don't want any cats in your house, especially Garfield. I do not like cats. What could have caused Vito to do such a horrible thing? I can't think of anything worse that could happen. I do not like cats. <gasps> I do not want any cats in my house. Huh? Especially Garfield. <laughs> I thought of something worse. No! <laughs> <laughs> yes! John can't be serious. <laughs> <laughs> John, what are you doing? Where are you throwing away all of my favorite foods? This is a whole box of crunchy poodle doodles. This is the perfect cereal. It's loud, it has no nutritional value whatsoever, and it turns milk purple. From now on, I only serve one food in this house. Raisins. Raisins? Raisin pie, raisin bread, raisin stew, meatloaf, but with raisins instead of the meat. No! 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 You can't be serious! No, no! You can't be serious! If you want cereal, you may have raisin bran, but without the bran. Which reminds me... <laughs> this still can't be happening to me. I can't! I still do not like cats. <sighs> oh, this day is not going well at all. Why does John suddenly not like me? I'm lovable, or as lovable as I ever was. Garfield Cat. Uh -oh. I hate Garfield Cat. Are you Garfield Cat? <laughs> Too bad, I hate Garfield Cat. Garfield huh? Cat, I hate you. I don't know why I, 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 I just do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Booty, do you hate me? <gasps> do you like me? <laughs> Great. I don't know what got into John. Vito not making pizzas? That's like Vito not making pizzas. Hmm. The mailman. With my luck today, he's probably returning normal from Abu Dhabi. Postage due. <laughs> oh, what a joy it is each day to deliver the mail. Okay. Here's what I want you to say. I hate delivering the mail. I'm going to move to Spain and become a beautiful senorita. <laughs> I hate delivering the mail. I'm going to move to Spain and become a beautiful senorita. <laughs> I can make anyone do whatever I want. Mom, take out more garbage. <laughs> Senorita. Odie, oh, did you see? He started acting odd after he was hit by some sort of ray from across the street. That's the house where that bratty mad scientist, Nathan! Come on! 
I must take out the garbage as ordered. <laughs> Take orders from me, the most powerful man alive! But first I have to go to the little boy's room. <laughs> oh, this must be it. Some sort of mind control machine, uh -uh. I guess. <laughs> What's this thing? My invention has no effect on the dog named Odie. Of course not. You can't control someone's brain if they don't have one. Let's go back. Only last a few days before they wear off. And back a little more. Testing a mind control device, unqualified success. I press the blue button, capture someone's mind, then speak into the microphone to tell them what to do. Odie, that's the secret. Do you realize what this means? It means I can control the world. I can make everyone do exactly what I want. I can make every single person on the planet get into the pizza delivery business. I can make the governor proclaim every day, Garfield the Cat Day. And I further decree that everyone has to give Garfield the Cat a nice gift. He'll accept cash, checks, and all major credit cards. I can sleep all day, and I can sleep all night. Wait a minute, I already do that. I can make Normal, Drusilla, Minerva, and Aunt Ivy all move to some other show. Eh, we're gonna go annoy the people on the six o'clock news instead. Huh? I could have the entire planet re-sculptured so it looks like a giant replica of my head. Okay, so we'll have it orbited by a moon that looks like you. All I have to do is push the blue button and talk into the microphone, and then... Odie. We have a problem. I can't talk. Huh? I'm a cat, remember? Humans can't hear me. Except for those people out there. Microphones can't either. <coughs> and I was so looking forward to making the world look like me. What are you doing <laughs> in my lab? Every time I invent something, you come along and ruin my plans! I just want to rule the world and make everyone my slaves! Is that so awful? Uh, yeah, it is. Well, I won't let you! I'll use my disintegration ray! <laughs> There's nowhere to hide, Cat! Prepare to be disintegrated! Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I could control that mind of his if I could give him an order into this microphone, but I can't. But I know who can. We just need to borrow something from across the street. Welcome to belly dancing for mice and other small rodents. That would include Nathan. Put your hands over your head, stand on point, then move in time to the music. That'll keep him busy for a few days until the ray wears off. <laughs> What's to stop him from using his mind control device when it does wear off? This. It took three seasons, but we finally got some culture into the show. Oh yeah, I took the disintegration ray. I thought it might come in handy the next time we have a guest appearance by Aunt Ivy. Right. <laughs> <laughs>